But anyways, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy OGT Man and today we got how Pooh Shiesty ruined his own life by your boy Get Like Prince. Major like. Um I ain't heard Pooh Shiesty since that collab he did with G Herbo. Um switch it up. That shit will forever be his best song. <clears throat> in my opinion. Other than get it back in blood. But um, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Without that being said, let's get started. You did. 22, Pooh Shiesty was sentenced to five years in prison. Even after Damn. having a very successful rap career, I'm talking about he had songs in the top 20 on the charts. But as time went on, he fell back into the life that he tried so hard to get out of. And if we really looking mm -hmm. at it, Pooh Shiesty career picked up quick. He started rapping back in 2018, and by 2019, he was buzzing. But 2020 would be where everything would change for bro. See, when I say he was buzzing, I mean it. Because he caught the eye of Gucci Mane. And to this day, Pooh Shiesty is still kind of known as a dude being under Gucci label 1017. And it was like right when he got in the industry, he was somebody the world cared about. I mean, he had the whole world calling Ski Mad Shiesty. But his blow up was quick. I'm talking about he was dropping real good music at the time. In 2021, would be the year that changed his life, but also ruined it. A few months before the start of the new year. Back in October 2020, <laughs> something crazy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that nigga look like an Egyptian father. Fuck wrong with that shit. <laughs> ah, where the fuck this nigga done came from? I know prison ain't do you like that. That man woke up and he had something on his mind. He was trying to get some money. He had a little plan. He had some gas. He had some shoes for sale. So he wanted to get him a little bag. So he planted out and some dudes hit him up. They like, we want the shoes and the gas. So whatever. he like, bit. Pick a time and place, and the spot he picked just so happened to be across the street from the Bay Harbor Island Police Station in Town Hall. Now, why he was trying to sell some drugs across the street from the police station, I don't know, but a group of cars, they pull up to the parking lot, but these wasn't no regular cars. I'm talking about these some high-end cars that pulled up. Clarence, a Maybach, they pulled up really trying to show that they had some money. They get to the parking lot, and old dude, he had shoes and the gas ready. But he was doing what he was doing. He was getting everything situated, and the buyer did look at the shoes, and I guess... Mm. Now we getting some backstory. Now we getting some backstory. Don't start this buffering bullshit. Man. He didn't want to pay, so he pulled out the drink. And when that happened, everybody scattered. But that don't mean the dude selling the shoes wasn't struck. Shoot all happened. Everybody started running. And one of the people that was with the dude selling the shoes ended up getting shot in the ass. So these shots <laughs> ring off. Everybody <laughs> dipped from the parking lot. And keep in mind, it was right beside the police department. So it was only a matter of time before 12 pulled up. And when 12 got there, they identified who did it real quick. Because, I mean, he pulled up to the parking lot. In a bright green McLaren. He was driving a bright green supercar and did all this in front of a camera. Pooh Shiesty, they booked that man on all kind of charges from robbery to weapon charges. And it's a case that Shiesty wouldn't forget. Eventually, after getting booked, he did get bond and that was that for a while. He got out, kept dropping music, was dropping music. He dropped his first big album, Shiesty Season. But around this time, he was real public about like some internal things he had going on. See, Shiesty from Memphis, and it's basically a whole war going down there. CMG versus Paper Out. In other words, Young Dolph versus Yo Gotti. Basically, two sides of the city going at it with each other. And Shiesty felt like if you blow up, you got to pick a side. But Pooh, he ain't want to step into this war zone. He said, I ain't going to lie. I ain't never want to sign to nobody. It's just my mentality. Even though in the you got to sign either one of them. Paper or CMG. So before Gucci came, I'm still Chopper Game. That's my name. I wanted it to be like, why you can't sign the Chopper Game, CMG, or Paper Route? Then Gucci came. Boom, perfect. I'm not just cool with everybody, but we familiar in some type of way. For the route, either I went to school with.
They from my hood. Literally. Shiesty was feeling like Gucci saved him from a fight he didn't even want to be a part of, but he couldn't catch no breaks. Just like this man who got into a life-changing situation. See, on this day, he woke up and he wanted a new vehicle, so he hopped on his moped and started heading toward the dealership. And everything was normal at first until he looked behind him and see the bus coming at him. I'm talking about this bus going full speed. So he get to thinking, he looking around real quick, realizes it's a bus pickup zone beside him. So he switches lanes thinking that the bus will stay in the original lane to go to the bus drop off. But he thought wrong. As he moved to the left lane, so did the bus. And before he knew it, the bus that was going about 30 miles per hour hit him while he was on the moped. A bus hit a man driving a moped going 30 miles per hour. And with anyone being in a situation like this, you might want to hire a personal injury lawyer who could help you get the compensation you deserve from your insurance company. But this might take hours upon hours just to get through all the paperwork, appointments, and whatever costs that would need to go into the situation. Well, I got a suggestion for y'all, Morgan and Morgan. Yeah, hey, I knew it. You they would fuck. point to one of the best to do is go to the on screen now through your phone's camera but around this time shiesty was like gucci saved him from a fight he didn't even want to be a part of but he couldn't catch no breaks yeah around this time he might have been blowing up heavy touching some real money but real life was hitting bro at the same time see around the time shiesty career started to pick up his brother was battling cancer he ended up Damn. losing that battle in early 2021 he passed away Damn. and ain't no telling how they had shiesty feeling but when it did happen he was getting love from the industry I, I just want to send you my condolences, man, you know, and um, and just let you know, like, the cycle of life is so unfair, you know, sometimes it just hits us so hard, like. Are you having trouble? No. I'm having trouble getting your fat head ass off my screen. Fuck off my screen. Money can't change that, you know. So, just went through two with one of my friends, but I just want you to know, G, like you're 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 doing something that a lot of people can't do, man. You're rising above and providing for your your family, your friends with hard work. And um, you know, it's something. Just know that everybody, you know, got to witness, and I'm sure they're all just just proud of you, have the most love for you in their heart, you know. And I just want you to know, you know, in a tough time like this, realize, you know, what, you, what you've been able to accomplish in this, in this short time and what you still have in front of you. And um, I'm just getting, wishing you strength, you know, in these times, man. Um, and then just enjoy the love from your people. But like I said, this still hurt them. Getting money ain't going to fix what you got going on. And this is something I done spoke about in many other videos. Just because you got money, that don't mean you're going to be happy. And Shiesty said exactly this on one of his songs where he was rapping about his brother. He said, on God, I shed a tear every time I think about TP. But no, I won't display my feelings. That's another side of me. Ever since then, I ain't been happy and I got all this cheese. So he basically saying he got all this money. He got all the money he could think of. He can get whatever he want. But... Life still happy. But even past that, Pooh was still in the streets heavy. Remember, this man getting money now. Compared to the people he was beefing with, he got everything to lose while they got everything to gain. But around this time, he was wildin'. He started to get into it with rappers too. And when I tell y'all, this was probably the most pointless beef I ever seen. I mean it. Around this time when he blew up, he was doing money spreads and he was spreading his money on his arm and all that. And this kind of started a beef. And for whatever reason, I don't know if Yak was off the drugs or what, but he got mad. He was saying all these rappers was copying him because he the one that started the money spread and everybody biting off Yak. <laughs> I was just listening to my boy Lil Baby's song. Uh, he, he, nah, he was on my dog, Lil Dirt song. He say, uh, some sh post some money on the ground. I ain't invented that. That's some crazy sh like that. Stop playing, Lil Baby. Right, this is uh, a 2016. Spray game too nice. I'm out here, man. Y'all. Kodak, is you really mad because somebody's spreading money on the fucking internet? Bitch, we don't give a fuck if you started it. We not gonna give a damn. You end it. <clears throat> we still gonna do it. Shut up.
Who the goat is, man? Utter, utter that shit. Gasly, we've been ripping them. Most, Ooh, most death type that's shit. What am I supposed to do with these racks blue? Ooh. <laughs> Tight. Stop playing, man. They go to spread that money on my legs, man. Y'all stop playing. The industry know what's up. The industry know what's up, man. Y'all know, y'all know who paid. Y'all need to go on for, for the way. What I said is 2016. I ain't been in this spread shit. Brought dick is back. All that. Shit. Peeling back like this, yo. All that. Groove is on the true all, all that shit, know what I'm saying? Time out. <laughs> Fast forward some time though. Pusha Icedy reposted Yank saying you lame, you lost all my respect, and y'all know how Kodak get. It was only a matter of time before he started snapping on bro. You know that bro, uh, we run through uphill. Tight, tight. Keep that shit cute. Don't make it all that, bro. Keep that shit cute, man. Know what I'm saying? It's just, it, it, that's just what it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's just, that's just what it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if dad doesn't want to write him out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm talking about most definitely on. Yeah, most definitely on that bitch, though. You heard me? Tight. What man? We're trying to hate for real, man. We face man. Brr, you heard me? <laughs> And that bird shit really be about like we were rush we, we we run, run over shit. shit. No, that uh, bird shit uh, we run through shit. Hell, tight, uh, tight. Uh, Keep that shit cute. Don't make it all that, bro. Keep that shit cute, man. But the back and forth ain't stopping this. Shiesty felt like he had to clear his name. The internet and fans will make a real nigga do some whole shit. Influence. You wasn't rapping when I was out here taking action. I just like your music. Thought you was on the same time, my boy. You was rapping that stuff I was really living before I ever made a song. The internet don't know nothing about me. If anything, Sosa get credit. Don't play with me. I'm the wrong young nigga. We can hit about it for real. All that talking, just put your phone down. And for a while after this, the internet was kind of disappointed. They was like, damn, these two people that make good music and they would make great music together. And after the internet was doing what they do, talking how they talk. I think the backlash kind of got to Kodak because one day out the blue. Ugh, why Kodak look like a damn crackhead? Somebody help him. Lord, oh my. You like the type of motherfucker that say, hey. 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 Just pay for this cheeseburger. You look like the type of motherfucker who hates. I'm sorry. <laughs> came to a census right, basically man. saying he was tripping. He said, I've been seeing the admiration dude have and had for this, and that's kind of on me. Entertainment is entertainment. Reality is reality. Past this beef, Shiesty life was real positive around this time. He went from squashing that beef to doing something a lot of people want to do. He ended up buying his mama a house. But that positivity streak ain't last long. Soon after that, that man went back to his ways. After all that went down, one day out the blue, he was posting talking wild. He be an image for these hoes for real. Y'all gangsta know I kill him. and I think everybody in that gang a bitch. And look, he ain't saying no name but the thing about this timeline is a month before this, he was going back and forth with Kodak. Now all of a sudden he threatening to kill somebody that the people know. And then they get to speculating. Is he talking about Kodak? Who he talking about? Who he talking about? But that would get squashed just a few weeks later when him and Kodak popped out at the club. Not only that, but they ended up dropping some music together. But over the years, Shiesty couldn't catch no break. Just a couple days after all that, a video randomly gets posted online of a transgender rubbing on some dude's chest with the caption that say, Oh, brr, no. Oh, Shiesty got, no. What a tranny. Well, he probably didn't know, but no. Look at the man hands. No. Yo, favorite rapper, thank you for the AP. And you're probably wondering, okay, what this got to do with Shiesty? Well, the person who was getting rubbed on in that video just so happened to have a 1017 chain. The label that pushed Shiesty on. And so they thinking, oh, damn, 1017? Pooh Shiesty, a hot new artist? Of course people gonna try to get some clout off him. And so, internet, oh, Shiesty was with this transgender. But this is where the problems come up. The 1017 chain in that video look fake as hell. I'm... Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Alright, y'all, so I'm gonna show y'all what this chain look like. I'm gonna I'm gonna look at the chain in the video versus the one Pooh Shiesty got on. That don't even look alike, but people were still saying what they were saying. And once he got the shy, he basically said, stop playing with me before I kill you. And the crazy part is, 
This nigga wasn't lying. Just a couple weeks later, he back in the news. One day he out of the club, but people saying that while he was on stage, somebody came and snatched 40 cal out of his pocket or it fell on the floor, but he lost his money. Now, why would that nigga have 40,000 in the club? I don't know, but like I said, he must have got that money took or something. Because soon after this, shots rang out. And this sparked up some. Once again, he probably still regret to this day. And a little over a week later, 12 was on the lookout for Shiesty, and he ain't want to deal with none of that, so he turned himself in right at the height of his career, right at the height of all this success, all this money he was getting. He had to turn himself in. They was claiming he shot and hit a security guard at the club. But let's go back to that night and figure out what really happened. So that night when he was on stage, the security guard said somebody did take the money or the money fell out of his pocket because his money was missing. And so who got mad? He walked at the club, and he must have been thinking, I'm not no bitch. So... He go back in the club after he got escorted out and started shooting. When them shots came out, he ended up hitting the security guard. And when that happened, he got locked up. And he was facing some crazy time. Dicey charged in Miami with aggravated battery with a firearm. If convicted, he Damn. faces a mandatory minimum of 20 years Damn. on that charge. No lie. The cops say that he was at King of Diamonds nightclub in Miami and that after his set, the security is escorting him out. He drops some money on the floor. He ends up shooting at the ground. That hits a security guard in the ankle. They're charging him with aggravated battery with assault and fire. He turned himself in tonight. His bond hearing will be in the morning. So we'll get a decision on whether or not he's going to be out on bond tomorrow morning or sometime thereafter. Interestingly, he will probably go in front of the same magistrate judge in Florida that he was before back in October when he was charged with aggravated assault with a firearm and some other charges. What's going to happen here? Listen, I think he'll get out on bond last time the charges were worse there was a semi-automatic weapon involved and they damn out on a thirty thousand dollar bond this time he can argue there was no intent he wasn't trying to shoot anyone it could have been an accidental discharge maybe someone else had a gun out i certainly would take my gun out if someone else took a gun out in a crazy scene like that it's really for the next few months he was fighting for his life, no exaggeration. So remember that case that started it all. He was out driving a McLaren $200,000, $300,000 car, and he ended up arriving and shooting a dude. And that had him facing life charges, and he got real luck. With the guilty plea, prosecutors agreed to throw out three charges from Shiesty indictment. As a result, Shiesty no longer facing a life sentence. The prosecution will only recommend that the back and blood rapper serve a minimum of eight year prison sentence. And when this went down, he was just on IG talk, but he said, just taking this one day at a time, I take over stuff everywhere I go. I'm locked up, but my mind's still free. You can't lock that up. I've been through worse situations, but I'm in my best right now. And so to really put this from the very he was getting money. He was facing legal problems. And after being in prison from June 2021 to April 2022, they finally sentenced that man. Everything he did caught up to him. April 20th, 2022, Shiesty was sentenced to five years in prison after he mm. pled guilty to a firearm conspiracy charge. The day he stepped in front of that judge, he probably didn't have a clue what was going to go down. Ain't no telling how much time he really thought he was facing. Let me tell you, that man got lucky. I really want you to just sit and think about everything he did. He shot and robbed the nigga on camera while driving a supercar then basically shot up the club hitting the security guard so on two different occasions he shot and hit somebody and he only got five years with time served so he probably could be coming home within like the next year or two but after he got sentenced he was on ig again just speaking i just want to thank all my loved ones and supporters for holding me down during these hard times i wish i could come home to y'all today but this could have been way worse. I will be back sooner than y'all think. But in the meantime, drop a music next week. And look, even though he was locked up, he was still having an impact on the world. Not a good one, but he was still having an impact. Remember what I was talking about earlier, how he had everybody calling ski mask shysties. Well, that was affecting the world so much, Pennsylvania had to come out and just ban shysties. They said you not wearing shysties on the transportation system. Zelda announced the ban in response to a fatal shooting of a man on a bus in Germantown, Pennsylvania. These full head covers are a major yeah. issue because we seeing these worn in 80 degree weather in Pennsylvania. It ain't no legitimate reason, pandemic withstanding, or anything to wear a full head covering in public for anything. But bro, he couldn't catch no break. Around the time he was in jail, he ended up getting into it with Wet 100. Basically, Wet got online saying Pooh Shiesty snitch. Hey, Wet, what do you, you know? think about that Pooh Shiesty? Like, because we could come to a conclusion with the room that was basically like, it was 50-50. Like, they were saying that he was, then they were saying that he wasn't. Well, from what I read, um, you know, and I keep telling people this. Whenever you include another motherfucking name outside of yours, 
in your cop out, you doing something you ain't supposed to do. Bingo. Bingo. So if it's me, look, <laughs> me and you, Chuck, and they say whack, you gonna cop out, and then paperwork say whack 100 admits pulling the robbery. He admits to hitting the dude over here with the gun, and he admits to taking the sum of 28,000. Boom, that's all it said. I ain't telling nobody that's part of my cop out, but if it says whack 100 admits to robbery, Black 100 also states that Big Chuck was the driver of the vehicle. Right there, it went back. Yeah. Who did I include other names? Who did I include another name in my show? That's when it went somewhere where it was supposed to go. A nigga gonna say, oh, he mentioned somebody else's name. That's, you know, that's what that is. But then I'm saying, you know, if it's the other, it was like two, maybe two, three names, right? Like which they mentioned. Yeah, if two. They took a plea, if they took a plea deal, and and they plead them it's the total it's the same but in reverse maybe they all all had that understanding you know what i'm saying i'm just i'm just you know i'm just there were the lawyers come in there we had gucci man people in the other day and she said uh, that uh gucci man still like they basically still riding with him well gucci ain't gonna say nothing one way or another you ain't gonna never know what he talking what he thinking because he ain't gonna he ain't gonna talk to nobody but Pooh Shiesty. Shiesty ain't like that. He got on IG writing the whole think piece claiming his innocence. Now, I'm not reading that shit, but I'll read you a little bit of it. It was never showing no paperwork that. Yo. <clears throat> Turn down a little bit. God damn. And with the government. Before I bit some cheese, I sat down and kept quiet. I'm talking about it was getting so bad. Shiesty mama got online calling whack a bitch. She said your mama raised the bitch, but whack ain't let that slide. And even though she was talking to him how she talked, he kept it respect. Who at Pooh Shiesty mother? I understand your emotions, but you responded to a lot. To the attorney, you weird. Learn the truth. If this a representation of how you do your research, maybe you the reason Pooh Shiesty caught the town. I got love for this man. Politics of politics. And other than him being in some random problems over the time he been in jail, so far, he has been out the way. And at one point, he was saying he had over five albums in the vault ready because they've been letting him record from prison. Yeah, you know, I ain't playing. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I ain't playing. I gotta give me at least a song again. Hey, this the minimum. So when you touch, you ready. So when I found it, I ain't gonna lie. Straight there, I got me about like a five six album loaded up. Them just albums. Yeah. Ready. Yeah. So when you touch the streets in yeah. trouble, huh? It ain't in trouble, bro. I'm telling you, like he ain't, he ain't like no chip on my shoulder. Thing, but I'm back for revenge for sure. It's time to call hell. Absolutely. Get out the way and get ran over. Or get down and get put up. Absolutely. And I'm, I want to say this before you want in. You was the uh, one of the few youngins who had the, in the chokehold, man. You know what I mean? Because you, because you really can rap. You really one of them the here today, going tomorrow, niggas. So I know when you come home and you focused and you got your mind right. Oh my god. Fine, man. You know I ain't no drug. We got Damn. You know, that took me being sober. Mm -hmm. You know, I was on everything, every drug, everything in pill form, all the drink, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's completely sober me. It's like I'm trying to, my vision ain't clouded no more. Like, I'm going forward, going towards my full potential. I yeah. can see, I can feel it. Absolutely. Who knows what his career finna be like when it get out, but this is the case of a rapper who was really living his raps, putting himself in unnecessary problems like the artist last video freddie gibbs even though not all of his problems was legal the weird attention seeking situations he was in still ruined how people looked at him because of the timing he was on and that vid is on screen right now if you ever got seriously injured your case well y'all hope y'all like this video make sure the like comment subscribe let's see the comments and uh, getting sponsored by a law company is a massive win yeah, the, the, yeah. If it's your boy OGT man signing out, yeah, it.